my grandfather has been around long enough to legitimately claim that he helped build this country with his own two hands. When we drive through the city, he shapeshifts into a history book and we dive into an exploration of a country's transformation. He points out where the trees used to be and how the buildings used to be as short as me and he marvels at how the roads can be made to stand above the crisscrossing rivers and carry the weight of all this progress. He has a story for every road named after a hero. He will tell you how he shook hands with Paul Kagame, how he drank tea with Dunduzu and he, he will tell you all about his kinship with Chibembele. His favorite roadside joke is, if he does not drive around town often enough, one day he'll come to realize that all his childhood friends have relocated because everything is always changing. Now, on my most recent visit to my grandfather's house, I am bouncing off the walls to share the latest development from the Roads Funds Administration. Biggest collaboration of its kind with Standard Bank, Old Mutual and Continental Asset Management. Who would have known when I passed by the ATM this morning that I was transacting with the shapers of the future? Who would have thought the same place where my grandfather's pension is held is the same place that's so passionate about the growth of communities? I say Kenyatta would be proud of where his road is taking this country beyond just making it more beautiful. First Malawian road with six lanes and the biggest deal in size. I tell him about the job prospects, about how so many men and women will find employment and he tells me to look at the details because that's where the real work is. To think about the woman selling her mandasi and the man with his sachets of water, the woman with a local food restaurant and the man with his mobile money kiosk. To think of the vendors up and down the road who will now have higher chances of bringing something home. He says, Remember, that's the road that takes you to Kamuzu Central Hospital. Just imagine the positive effects on our emergency response, the number of ambulances that can quickly come and go. Think about the number of lives that will be saved by this ease of movement. He says, Iyin in Toa. The process of constructing a road like this is a pathway for small dreams that dare to ask how big. He says, Gogo, you are the storyteller now. Future generations will look at this pivotal moment and wonder what it must have felt like to watch change unravel before your very eyes. Do you even realize this goes beyond the 34.5 billion kwacha, beyond the 15 year repayment period. This is a legacy that will be remembered for years to come. Realizing a dream like this will only prove how possible it is to have roads just like it. My grandfather and I, we agree that this is a game changer. This is proof that with exclusively local currency financing, it can be. This is proof that when the private sector and government come together, we can do great things every day. This road right here, this is the pathway to Malawi's future.